YouTube, what's going on, man? Today, I'm going to be bringing you all of my settings that I use in MLB The Show 21. I think these are the best settings currently to use. This is also just what I'm comfortable with. So I'm going to walk you guys through it all. Guys, if you've been looking for a settings video for me for a long time, and I know you have because one of my top searches on YouTube is Grace of Swan settings. So leave a like on the video if you've been looking for this. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We are almost at 13,000 subscribers absolutely insane man make sure you guys follow me on twitch we've been having some banger streams on this new game lately just crossed 14,000 followers a thousand twitch subs over there so i'll put the links down in the description for that as well as the rest of my socials but let's get into this let's get into this all right so we're gonna start with my batting and base running settings so difficulty doesn't really matter especially in diamond dynasty um if i'm doing like batting practice or something i like to go on legend just so i get used to faster pitch speed smaller pci then i'm ready for like the hall of fame and a pci will be bigger and it'll be easier to hit hitting view i use a strike zone so a lot of you guys will see me when i'm hitting and we got this right here this view right here allows me to see the pitch better this is what you'll see a lot of people use in mlb the show in play view offense i use dynamic um i'll be honest i'm not sure why it's just something that i kind of just leave it's you know it's the normal i know a lot of people use i, I think it's medium or high uh ball trail daytime only uh this does not really matter in my opinion hitting interface now this is big zone hitting zone hitting it is worth getting good at zone hitting use custom practice if you need to but directional there's a lot of rng randomness in it okay zone hitting you have the most control over it this is by far the best hitting like interface that you can use input type buttons i know some people use the analog like flick and all that i just like pressing the buttons and i always press x never power swing always x man you don't need to power swing this game power swing just makes your pci smaller analog type doesn't matter when you use buttons all right my pci people have been asking me a lot for this so obviously played coverage indicator i like to have it on um pci center i use circles okay and so the and this doesn't really matter it's just whatever you want to use i like circles inner i use wedge no outer pci the outer pci is just like oh i can foul away the inner one is what matters because that's where you get the solid contact so that's the one i like to focus on don't even look at the outer pci color i use yellow at a 70 percent transparency that is totally up to you and what you want to do and i don't even care about the fade out because i want to keep my inner and my dots there so we go over to advance uh this none of this really matters base running decisions assist you don't want auto base running or anything basing running interface i use the default and basically people ask me like oh i i have problems controlling all my base runners because they use the l1 and l2 buttons if you use your stick and select the base runner like if there's a runner on second you press up you can select them and then use the buttons to tell them where they go that's how you do it individually sliding decisions assist that's whatever i like to do and runner windows on all right now for pitching difficulty whatever you guys want to do right now i think the move is getting good at pinpoint pitching it's very similar to zone it's tough right now but it's something worth getting good at i think it's going to be the most accurate and if you guys can be really good at pinpoint pitching i think that pitching actually will matter this year i've heard things about um analog actually being better than it was last year in terms of like you know your pitches hanging in and such and sds said that meter is actually the thing that's under pinpoint so it goes like pinpoints the most accurate then meter then analog i don't recommend using classic or pulse personally pitch feedback on i just like to see where it ends up and where it goes pitching view i use outfield so i will actually show you guys this real quick i'll just use this so this is this is the outfield pitching view and this is me using pinpoint boom I just like this view brought it's similar to broadcast except broadcast changes in every stadium outfield is just a uh, constant all right now we will go to the pitching ball marker I like pitch trail on you mo it's set, set to fade typically but I like being able to see at any point before I start my motion where the pitch is going to go I don't like it fading pitch confidence on um that's up to you you can see what pitches are going to be better than others in certain times like if somebody's hammering a fastball the fastball's confidence can be low it's gonna be harder to throw pitch delay normal doesn't really matter api doesn't really matter all right fielding i use buttons accuracy the thing about button accuracy that's where it shows the meter and you have to get it in the green if you use regular buttons um there's a chance of a throwing error more rng we don't like randomness here so buttons accuracy throwing meter obviously on you want to get it in the green you want to see it 
Fielding decision, assist. I don't like auto because then I can't really control what's going on. Throwing decision off. I am responsible for all my throws and that's what I like. In play view defense, I use dynamic. Uh, you can use whatever you want. It's just a view. It's whatever it's preference, right? I like dynamic. Throw canceling on. I like having as much control as possible when I'm playing the game. So if I decide to throw to a base and I'm like, wait, I don't want to do that anymore. Maybe I accidentally click the wrong button. I want to be able to cancel that throw. So if you cancel the throw, you just press the same button. You throw twice. It, now, if you're having an issue where they always do the fake throw, it's because you're pressing the button multiple times. And if you have a habit of that, you can always turn that off. One button jump and dine, dive off. I like having the ability to decide. I don't want to leave it up to the randomness of the game or anything. So R1 is jump, R2 is dive. Auto infield jump reaction on, auto infield dive reaction on. So if the ball's hit too hard and I can't react to it or do, just don't react to it, I like having the assist there. Catch position indicator, track ball. Now this is new this year. You guys may have noticed like in the outfield on a fly ball, there's like a line, right? And you have to go somewhere within that line. So if a worse fielder is going to have a bigger line. And then you have to judge where the ball, like the track of the ball, where it's going and put yourself in the right position. I just think it's cool, personally. Um, drifting ball is what it, it's been in previous games, but I like track ball a lot. And obviously, the better the fielder, the smaller of the area. I've seen diamond fielders where it's just, just a little dot. It's awesome. Defensive shift manual. Do not use the auto shift and I will, will I will repeat it for you. Do not use the auto shift, okay? And I think it help, hurts you more than helps you. I really do. It's so easy in this game to just be laid on the ball and go opposite field. Just, I don't recommend using it. I feel very good not using it. I'll put it that way. And then we got off the wall ribbon off. Um, I really have no clue what this is. Displays the path of the ball after it hits the wall. Actually, we're going to leave that on. I like this. So basically, like if a ball is going to hit the wall or something, I like to have it on so I know where it's going. So yeah, off the ball, off the wall, ribbon on. It's late. <laughs> uh, gameplay style, I like competitive. Stick skills remain supreme. Fielding aids off. You can have that on if you choose to. Strike zone, obviously on. Hot zones off wind off warm-up relievers on none of this really matters especially in diamond dynasty but yeah that's pretty much it those are my settings you guys have been asking for them there they are they may change later in the year so if you guys see me coming coming in my streams and maybe i'm not using pinpoint pitching anymore maybe it just got the best of me all right but we're gonna be using pinpoint for a while i'm having a lot of fun getting like practicing at something and trying to get good at it but guys if you found this video helpful please do leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel that's all i got today and i will see you in the next one Hope you enjoyed it.